Hey everybody, my name is Ben Gramico. I'm from InterNACHI. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. And this is a free, live, interactive, online webinar, uh, InterNACHI webinar that we do. Uh, we do a couple every week. And uh, sometimes I do them. Uh, sometimes we have a special guest and we have a special guest today. We have Simple Lab. Uh, Dan and Johnny are here to help us home inspectors uh, increase gross revenue with diversifying our services and adding a special kind of service. Environmental services are really good and um, water quality. I've done water quality. Uh, I probably did about 40% of all of my home inspections included a water quality a sample. So we were doing energy inspections and red inspections, water quality, indoor environmental stuff. So in order to be successful at your business, especially when the economy is volatile, uh, you got to diversify your services. And we have uh, a special guest today to tell us more about how to do that. So fellas, thank you for being here, taking time out from your busy schedule and teaching us home inspectors about um, what are we talking about today? We are talking about water testing in your home inspection. So uh, despite um, despite Johnny appearing to be Dan, I am the real Dan, so <laughs> don't get us mixed up. Cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I just kind of wanted to introduce kind of what this product is about and and uh, walk you through a little bit of the sales process that you can do with your with your inspections. Um, so the whole the whole thing we try to simplify this as much as as we can for you. So we try to make this as easy as possible. Um, so I'll walk you through just kind of how the whole thing works, and then I'll walk you a little bit through a sales pitch that you can do for your inspections. Yep. So and then for the attendees, if you have any questions uh, during um, our, our conversation or afterwards. Uh, feel free. You got two options. You got a chat and you got a question and answer. So use either one and we'll take a look at uh, as they pop up, but feel free yeah, to and ask I'll, questions. Yeah. I'll pay close attention to your chat. So, cool. <laughs> um, okay. So it all starts when you go online and you order your, your kit. Um, now we're providing a free, uh, a free kit for you guys. Um, if Water you testing that, kit. Yeah, so water testing kit. We've, we're providing a free water testing kit. Uh, if you use a, a code, which I'll give you to you a little bit later in the in the um, webinar. But essentially, wh what you do is you order this this kit, which John is uh, showing for us. Um, you will receive this this kit, which says Tap Score, um, and is essentially everything that you need to do your water sample. Um, It'll include not only all of the bottles that you need and very, very clear instructions. Johnny, do you have some instructions for us by chance? Yeah, so. I do, yeah. The, all the little pieces of paper that are involved. Some of these are just to help you collect the sample properly. Um, of course, we have people standing by to assist if you have questions the day of. Your materials, uh, ice pack, gloves. Johnny, can you, raise the, can you raise the box a little higher? Yeah, so yeah, there we go. Sweet. Perfect. So that's everything that's included in the box, but you also get a flyer that you can give out to your um, customers as you do these. Yeah, just to kind of have a little bit of talking points for your customers um, in, the, in the flyer, you know, you can just kind of give it out. You don't have to really sell this very much. It kind of tends to sell itself. Um, as soon as as soon as they start asking questions about their water quality, that's when you will be in a good place to just ask them, would you like to do a water test? Uh, so we sell all sorts of water tests, but let me first walk you through the process. So you, um, you first order the test. We send you this box that has everything you need to, to do the test. You ask the home inspector or you ask the, the uh, customer if they would like an inspection or a water test done with their inspection. If they say yes, uh, you've got all the materials that you need to run that test. On the day of, you just collect the sample, drop it off at UPS, slap on that uh, label, that prepaid label that we include. So we're paying for all of the shipping. So what you see, the price that you see is the price that you pay where there's no, no hidden fees, no, no nothing. Um, all of that is included. You get your results between three and five days after it arrives at the lab. And we're gonna go through a little bit more of each one of these steps uh, in detail. The way that we, 
set up our pricing is so that you don't have to pay very much to have these kits on hand. Because let's say maybe you want a city kit and a well kit and a lead and copper kit and you know a VOC full kit. Um, so all of these options you can have, you can order all of these for $9 a piece. Um, and then you pay what we call the activation fee, which is essentially the, the price to send in the, the, the kit and get the results from the lab. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna quickly walk you guys through some of this. I see that there are some questions in here. Um, and we are, the unfortunately, the only state that you cannot do water sampling in is New Jersey. So I had a question about New Jersey. Um, you actually have to have a, um, a lab technician come out to do the water test for the state of New Jersey. That's the only state that you are required to have some, someone from the lab actually come take the sample. Okay, so let's go through kind of what this whole process looks like. So we're gonna start off uh, by, if you go to the website, um, mytap.us backslash pro, that will bring you to our labs or to our signup page. And in here, you'll just enter your email address. It's really nice and simple, and that'll get you started. We'll get your contact information. I'll reach out if you wanna chat with me, or if you want to, if you prefer chatting with Johnny. Um, see, Johnny <laughs> pops up right here. <laughs> Johnny's ready to talk to you guys. We always have someone on online waiting to chat with you guys. So that's the really one of the best parts of us is that that you constantly have access to uh, top of the line uh, scientists to ask specific questions for or to. Um, once you sign up, you will see something like this. Now, this is the this is the big page where you kind of can do everything. So here you will see a few of our a few of our different tests. You, you have our, our city tests, you have our well tests down here, um, and all of them you will see a you'll you'll see a price and you'll see an activate for. And so that's the total. If you add those two together, that's the total cost. Except we're going to knock off those nine dollars for you guys for being Internachi members. Um, essentially, if you just click view, this will show you everything that's being that's being tested. Um, it'll show you know what we what 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 it costs you to activate it. We have some MSRPs. They're really you know they're kind of outdated, but um, th that's a lot more to get to know your market. You'll, you'll be able to price these a little bit better. Um, so let's go to a slightly more interesting test. Let's go to a well pro test or. Yeah, let's go to this well protest here. So this well protest costs you $129, $129. All of our well tests are FHA certified. So uh, anytime that you see an inspection water test well, that, that will include the coliform and E. coli and that will be FHA and VA loan certified test. Um, and you'll see all of your analytes in here and you'll see the turnaround time. If this is not uh, the speed that you want, we do have the rush kits down here for three day turnaround. Um, if you click on those, you'll see the three day, three business day turnaround. Um, you also got example reports and instructions if you happen to lose your instructions or your uh, sample report. So this is where you order all of your tests. Now, once you order your tests, they go from your order to, they go into your unactivated tests section of your of your web page. From here, you can activate your tests. Once you activate them, they go into your activated tests. Uh, and let's let's walk you now. That, now so let's say that, so again, you order your test for nine dollars. You've got a bunch of those kits, um, and when you use when you send them in, we include the shipping label. We um, and, it, and we'll put it under your unactivated tests. And when you use the kit, that's when you need to go on the website and activate it. And once you activate that kit, that's you can when- you do that from your phone. It's, you can do that from, do from, from cell phone. Yeah, yeah. You can do it from your phone and it's really simple. Um, you can also keep track of all your customers on here. So let's take a look at what happens once you send that in, once you wait your five or three business days uh, at the lab for your results to come back. That's going to look like uh, that you're going to get a sample report that looks kind of like this. So I believe this is a city plus test that we've done on this one. Um, it's going to show you a score. As long as you did uh, any sort of slightly more advanced tests, you will get a score. Uh, otherwise, you, for example, if you just do a lead and copper, you won't get a score. We can't calculate a, a score based on just those two parameters. We need quite a few parameters to, to give you a score. So, um, Dan, one thing I'll mention here is that like the, the score is out in evaluation of the overall water quality health. 
it's not a representation per se of, of a particular concentration of one of the analytes. So you'll always get a concentration for lead or arsenic or coliform or E. coli or uranium. You'll get those concentration values in parts per million or parts per billion. The, the score Dan's talking about and pointing to the 46 is something called a TAP score. And what that does is give you and your customer a sense of the overall potability score, the health aesthetics and plumbing score of the water quality in the house. And it's an evaluation that takes into account the concentrations found in your sample, the health regulations for those concentrations and the taste and uh, plumbing risks associated with those concentrations. 99 is the highest, that's like slam dunk, the best water quality you can get. One is don't drink it, don't touch it, do something before you use it. <laughs> and in this example, 46 isn't all that great, right? No, 46 is definitely a failing grade, right. um, yeah. at least at the school that I went to. <laughs> um, so once we click, um, once we click uh, begin, that will take us through all of the different um, contaminants exactly where those, so, that, so instead of just being a boring PDF that just says, oh, you have high cadmium, we actually walk you through everything that cadmium is, where it comes from, what it, uh, what parts of your health it affects. So for example, here we see cadmium concentration of 0.011 ppm. Here are some of the common sources of where it comes from, uh, the parts of your health that it affects. And of course, if you want to read more about any of these, you can click on learn more and it'll take you to like a whole bunch of scientific articles if you really want to dive into that. Um, so let's continue down this, this uh, sample report. If you go under general, it'll kind of show some of the basic characteristics of the water. Aesthetics, it'll to, you know, if you get weird smells or tastes or colors, it'll it'll tell you where those are most likely coming from. And then if you just want to see all of your results, kind of like a PDF, you can go into all results and it'll show them kind of in order of most important to least important. Um, can you get extra brochures to, uh, to be able to hand out? Uh, sorry, I'm just now seeing some of these questions, uh, one from Mary. Uh, yes, you can order special brochures. I will send out a link to Ben after the meeting to, so that you can order those. Those of course are free, um, but we do include brochures with every kit. So you can also, also just open up the kits and, and use those brochures. John asks, can the water test pick up the pollutants within the Beth Page water plume? Um, so I. I assume that's a specific water plume. Johnny can probably, that might be a question for our scientists. <laughs> looking it up right now. Yeah, Beth so I, Page, how's it spelled? Uh, -E -H, Just while you're talking, I'll look it up. B-E-T-H-P-A-G-E. -E. So we'll get back to you on that one. And is there an expiration for the kits? Uh, we typically say about a year. We can probably, you can probably you still use them after that, but we just, you know, we update a lot of things uh, after a year. So we just wanna, you know, keep that in mind. Okay. Um, then the best part of this is that instead of scaring away any of your realtors because they're like, oh, you killed the deal because of the water test. No, that's never going to happen because if you click on next steps, we actually provide, or sorry, if you click on treatment, uh, we actually provide a whole bunch of different ways that you can treat your water. Now, all of these are, the, so we, we do not, um, we do not affiliate ourselves with any of these companies. These are unbiased results. Uh, the whole point of this test is that it's an unbiased test. So we're not like pushing, you know, Amazon filters or whatever. Um, we're just giving you a, a, a few different options and you'll find, you know, that there's actually a few different options uh, for each one. So here's a carbon test. I believe this is another carbon test down here, sediment test, carbon filter. Then we've got some uh, reverse osmosis systems. And again, we, we recommend a couple just so that you can uh, find out a little bit more about that. And then if you want to know a little bit more about your nearby water, you can click on nearby water and you'll find some more information on your nearby water. So that is essentially the report that you get and your customers will be really happy because the report is really comprehensive, really intuitive to understand as well. You're not going to have to be, you know, you don't have to have a PhD to interpret what high cadmium is. You just go to your watch list and say, oh, I don't want high cadmium because these are the effects of it. Um, let me pick up on these couple of questions. Dan, uh, just answer the question about the Beth Page spill. There, there are a number of, of contaminants in the Beth Page area. The, the most significant one from a health st standpoint was something called TCE or trichloroethylene. And that would be included in any of the tests 
that include volatile organics. And that's all of the, it's, to translate what, what Johnny said, it's that's all of the plus tests on your, on your web, on the landing, on the order page. Anything that says plus will include volatile organic compounds. So these are the VOCs down here. So this, so for example, this is our, uh, our, our most advanced city test for, in, for home inspectors. Uh, total cost to you is $189. Uh, tests for 110 different parameters, uh, including all these VOCs, all the metals, um, et cetera, et cetera. A uh, couple other questions. How often does a customer need to test the water after we do the first test? Does the water quality change over time? Johnny, you're probably the best to answer that question. Um, for yeah. yeah so go, go go ahead for that one yeah the short short answer is it depends if there are no issues and everything looks good and the water is coming from a from a public water utility you probably don't need to test again for 10 years if you find problems and you're the owner of the well or the property has a private well then you should probably get in the habit of testing once or twice a year just to make sure that any of those issues you're trying to fix with a filter or a membrane or a softener um, are indeed being fixed. Um, in rare situations, people test four times a year because of you know, changes in the water table, changes in temperature. Uh, these physical changes uh, to the environmental chemistry can alter the concentrations, the leaching, the volatilizations of various chemicals that are in the groundwater table. So it really depends. And on every report, we'll give you a sense of how urgent or how important it is to maintain some kind of a testing regimen. By and large, a, a like simple uh, recommendation for every customer is if you have a private well, test it once a year. We've seen wells that look great two or three years in a row, and then boom, something weird happens on year four, and we figure out why, but it didn't show up in the first couple of years. Um, and typically it's because of changes in rain or it's because of more usage at the wellhead or something is beginning to degrade. Um, private well, one year, city water connection, five to 10 years. If you find something wrong though, like cadmium or aluminum or lead um, or high trihalomethanes, which are common when water systems use too much chlorine for disinfection purposes, um, and you install a carbon filter, well, maybe you want to test that the carbon filter is working just so you can hold the filter company accountable um, every one to two years. That's also, really great. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's really great because when I did um, home inspections with water quality sampling, uh, we tracked everybody with a well. So uh, if we did one water quality sampling for uh, maybe just somebody to just move into the house, we would always follow up and tell them about the benefits of hiring someone instead of doing it themselves, hiring someone who can give them a really good water test. And then, then like you were saying, if they add uh, some, uh, some kind of plumbing component to fix a, a water problem that was discovered by one of the reports, we can always come back and test the efficiency or efficacy of that component that was just installed. So there's, yeah. a, there's a ton of follow-up uh, for this, especially when uh, it's really important to have clean water nowadays. Yeah, it, it's not uncommon for an inspector to get called back in to do a test again in uh, a year or two from now or six months from now, or if there's been a big issue. So like, let's say there's a well and it has microbiological issues. That's usually a red flag and can stop a, a transaction. It usually has to be tested for. In those situations, you, you find the coliform of the E. coli, you then remediate the solution, and then you have to test at least one or two or three more times to make sure that it's actually been taken care of. Yep. Thanks, Johnny. That was a very thorough answer. Um, it, uh, we had a quick question about dropping off at the post office or UPS. I believe all of our tests are UPS now or because we were having some trouble with the post office. Johnny, can you verify that? You still have the choice. They default to UPS. USPS has just been particularly troublesome in the last six months due to factors outside of our control. So we switched them temporarily, at least all to UPS return labels. But if you need something different, just let us know and we can accommodate. Um, we also had someone ask, well, and so again, I'm going to go over how to ask questions if after, after the, our, you know, our, our 
conversation is over here. You can always log in and see this big blue button down here, click on here, and you can start harassing uh, Johnny or, or someone that's that's available online at the moment. Um, so find your answer, you know, you can search the answer or you can just send us a direct message on here. Um, whoops. Okay, so that's, uh, that's kind of, uh, someone asked about bottled water. Uh, can you test your bottled water? Uh, Johnny, you might also be able to take this one. Yeah, uh, we do the bottled water frequently. So whether it's because the bottled water company needs to do some kind of FDA regulatory testing, or if it's a consumer that has a question about bottled water they're purchasing, uh, we can accommodate either. We have a, on the My Tap score side, because that's not usually a home inspector test, you're not gonna see it on the list Dan is presenting. But if you go to the mytapscore.com service, which is also run by our company, um, it's a service that sells water testing directly to customers. You'd see there some options for bottled water testing. And don't just take our, you know, don't just take our word. Uh, we were published in the New York Times wire cutter article as the best water quality test for your home. We've also got links from the Washington Post and a few others. I'm happy to share those as well. Uh, I also wanted to, you know, point out our blog. If you have any like interesting questions about, you know, like let's say one of your customers mentions PFAS, uh, we've got lots of lots of articles and information on on all sorts of water related things. And I just also wanted to kind of point out the fact that you can, if you under our, under this same page, if you go under um, your team settings and help, this is where you can get some marketing aids to, uh, to build your own land or to build your own website and, and kind of advertise uh, what, what your, uh, the, the capabilities of water testing you have are. Uh, and I'm gonna show a, one of our partners, um, pages here. So this is kind of like their, uh, their website of how you can, you know, talk about uh, water testing and advertise it a little bit using a lot of our, uh, of the content that we've created a lot of these images, um, you know, different, uh, yeah, but just talking about how to advertise on their, on their website. So I'm also, I usually send this out with my introductory emails, just so that you have, you know, something to kind of look over and say, Oh, maybe I should model it after this. Um, so I think that's, uh, oh, I also share a video that walkthrough of, of, the, of the whole testing process with my introductory email. So again, just go onto that webpage that mytap.us backslash pro uh, to sign up and uh, use the code NACHI2021. So N-A-C-H-I 2021 to get your first kit uh, for free. Um, I've got a few more questions. Uh, Les, Ben, did you want to? Do anything no, else? You, you want to you want to tackle some of the questions that you see? Yeah. Um, so we've got uh, Kervin asked, "How often do we change our water filters?" I think that's very dependent on what you, very dependent on what you, uh, what filter you get. So, for example, I've got a, a reverse osmosis system that I think recommends changing our, our the pre filters every six months and the post filters every two years. I think it's just very dependent on, on which filter you're using. Johnny, anything else to add on that one? Yeah, the combination of what you're filtering for and, and which filter you're using and how much you're using it. But yeah, in general, for a given report, we'll give you that insight uh, depending on the filter you choose. Uh, you can always reach out and so can your customers, by the way. you know, you, One thing Dan didn't show because it's a bit in the weeds is you can you can print your report as a PDF. You can share it as an HTML file, the, the kind of colorful rich file that you saw on the screen. Um, and then your customer accesses it, has, has private access to it along with yourself and your team. Uh, and they can on that report reach out and ask questions. So you know, they're then deciding, okay, hey, I like these results, but I wanna make the score better. I'm thinking of buying a filter. They can just chat with our team there and, and, and get unbiased advice for filtration and interpretation uh, themselves. So you don't have to be the, the one answering every question about water quality. Uh, we step in on the report as a pop-up bubble and people can click and ask our team questions. 
Yeah, and I thought that would be a good uh, transition into Mary's next question, which is, um, is this email to the inspector or to the client? Well, you actually can control that. Um, if you go under team settings, and this also is uh, to talk to hit on Johnny's point and go under report settings, uh, you can switch to PDF right here. So if you just want a boring PDF, we can do that. Um, you can also disable treatment recommendations uh, and have and disable the ability to review your report. So the report, the review report option, that's where you get the report first and then you send it to the customer. You can also just choose to send it directly to the customer without your review. Um, some people prefer one way, some people prefer the other way. Um, yeah, so I think that should answer that question. Let me and just... The reports look fantastic, I have to say. I mean, it's Thank very you. easy. I mean, I, I've always struggled with getting a report from a lab and then having uh, the feeling responsible for interpreting it for my client and kind of like dumbing it down or putting it in layman's terms instead of, uh, I love this, the idea of a score instead of like, what does parts per million mean? You know, uh, so the report looks fantastic, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Um, I think we've put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears <laughs> into that report. Um, so I'm, I'm glad that, that that works well. Okay, let's take a look at Adam's question. Uh, which kinds of water samples should be collected before the cistern and which ones should be collected at a drinking water faucet tap inside the house? Johnny, do you wanna, do you wanna take on that, that question? I think that- yeah, I think, so I think that it's all included in the instructions, by the way, that it's very specifically outlined. Let's, let's actually pull up one of our instructions here um, on our screen share while we've got it. So the instructions are really colorful, really simple, like, you know, step one, step two, step three, step four, pretty simple. You know, here's the shipping stuff, the sampling information. Here's the sample collection. So we're just very clear. We've got, you know, five little bullet points inside the sample collection. Uh, we try to make it really, really easy for you. And part of the part of the nuance to answering that question um, is going to change every time, and that's why we like make the customer service aspect of our business so prevalent. Which is, you get to a home, and all of a sudden something feels different about the issue. Just message us, tell us what's going on, and we'll tell you how to uh, alter your sampling protocol. Um, if you're really concerned about a source water issue in a well, uh, more attention should be given to the well itself. If the house is old and the plumbing might contain lead, then more issue, uh, more attention should be given to the kitchen tap. Um, and there's a kind of whole spectrum of, 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 uh, of other options, but this is the default option generally on the piece of paper we give you. Um, and over time, you kind of learn to get a sense for when something is uh, deserving of more, more attention. Uh, Ryan Kent asked, which can we go over which tests satisfy the VA loan requirements? Um, that's a great question. Anything that says well is going to satisfy the FHA VA loan requirements. So um, as you can see here, the first few don't, none of these say well, but any of them went with this little well symbol. This is, this is uh, like a, like an old school well <laughs> where you stick the bucket way in, but um, but this is uh, any of these well tests. So the inspection well basic, inspection well pro, um, or the inspection well plus. Any of those will satisfy the FHA VA loan requirements, which are essentially just a test for arsenic, lead, nitrates, nitrites, and coliform and E. coli. And that's simply because the FHA and VA programs really only are constrained to private wells. You know, they, there are no such requirements on city connected taps that I'm aware of. I mean, there's probably an exception to every rule, but uh, that's why we have them uh, articulated that particular way. The city tests are, are run in equally certified labs. We just don't do the same paperwork and due diligence on tracking things as we need to do for the VHA and uh, for the VA and FHA loans. And so that you'll see a, like a slightly higher cost when comparing well tests and city tests. Um, and it, it, it's, it's because of that compliance. Um, and again, I'm going to just quickly go over how to I'm gonna pick a couple of uh, answers here to answer real quick. If you go to mytap.us backslash pro, that's how you can sign up with us uh, and use the code NACHI2021. So that's, this is the code. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Maybe I'll type it in here. mytap.us backslash pro. 
this is the website that you want to go to to sign up. And you want to use the code NACHI2021 to get that first free kit. Maybe I'll leave both of these up. Um, Joseph asked, in some counties or jurisdictions that require their staff to make collections based on the type of testing requested, um, do Go, does going through you fall under those same restrictions? Uh, the only state, again, that I know that that um, has those restrictions is the state of New Jersey. So unfortunately, if you're from the state of New Jersey, you might as well sign off right now. <laughs> but if the county does have a restriction, I would you know, I would say you probably want to stick to that restriction. Again, we very, very rarely run into that. Um, so we, yeah, so we answered Melissa's and I'm, I've got it here up on the screen. Um, yeah, and so the email address to receive your free sample. So again, uh, Terrence, if you go to this web, uh, this website and just put in your email address, I will um, have, and just let me know that I'll, I'll contact you and then just let me know, hey, I was on the, on the, uh, on the InterNACHI webinar, um, or you can just purchase your first kit with this code. Um, are these mandatory in any state? Again, only mandatory if you are getting an FHA or VA loan. Um, so that's Jeff's question. And I see a question from Joseph about uh, specific agreements um, for the service. Well, in relation to providing a service to a consumer, you always want an inspection agreement, uh, a contract between you and your client about uh, setting the expectations for your client, what services you're providing and what information you're going to provide and what are you actually going to do during your inspection. So we have those kind of legal documents for you, uh, a customizable online agreement system that's been reviewed by a legal team. You can use that. It's free to internet members. Just log into your uh, online account to get to those documents. Um, so I'll take that question. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Ben. Anything else you, you want to talk about or? Um, yeah, I'm just going, sorry, I'm just going through the rest of these questions. Um, yeah. These kits look great. I'm going to use, oh, that's not a question. <laughs> um, do all these labs use the same testing standards? No, that's why you have us as your partners so that we can look through all of the dirty details and figure out exactly what you need. Um, that's why we specifically have these, uh, these inspection uh, these inspection test kits, because if you just try to order one from the mytapscore.com uh, or yeah, um, .com and just try to order a well test, that well test will not qualify for an FHA or VA loan. That's not sufficient. So you need specific testing standards and that's why, and we give you a, a, a pretty decent discount anyway. So you're gonna find that all of our tests on here are significantly discounted compared to our consumer tests. So. And also in each one of the boxes, you know, there's a, there's a document we don't talk about very often, but it's. Uh oh, did we lose? I think we lost Johnny. <laughs> um, but there's a document on there that, that, that you essentially get to, to fill out and, and satisfy all the, the requirements. Um, let's see, what other questions have I not answered on the wall kits? Do you still, okay, I think we answered the, the, the collect from the kitchen. Mandatory, we answered that one, answered that one. Brian said, uh, looks like you have others named Simple Lab on web search. I'll have to look into that. Hmm. Thanks for that, uh, Brian. I'll, we'll look into that. Um, all right, Johnny's back, but he's sideways. <laughs> um, we'll give him a minute to, to get straightened out, no pun intended. Um, can you rush a test if it is normal shipping? So unfortunately, no. So Tom, this is Thomas's question. Um, unfortunately, no. That's why we specifically provide these kits for nine dollars uh, because it's it's very difficult to get you you because typically they go to a different lab, a different uh, different shipping speed, and so it just gets really complicated. We we need kind of like a whole new set of materials. So again, you know, the kits are nine dollars a piece. Uh, using this rush, uh, if any of the rush tests will work just fine um, to get your three day turnaround time at the lab. And all of these kits include an overnight shipping label as well. 
So unfortunately, you know, you're going to have to spend an extra nine bucks, but uh, you got nine bucks off. So from the, in, from the Nachi uh, code anyway, so it's a break even there. Um, oh, and Joseph, again, yeah, uh, inside your agreement, I would uh, list the lab, uh, the services that you're providing so that, um, you know, you're just a data collector or water collector, and that's your service. Uh, you're not the laboratory. And so putting that in your legal document for your client to understand that you're not actually the laboratory, you're not the, the people uh, responsible for creating the report and the recommendations and the treatments. Um, you're just simply providing information, collecting information, and then providing it in a way that's understandable to your client. And then put that in your inspection agreement. Um, and I guess I didn't, I forgot to mention that for FHA and VA loan tests, uh, those are the, the, the well test is required only if of course you're on a well. If you're on city water, then it's, it's not going to be required. Um, still, again, we try to encourage it as much as possible. Um, so I think that's a, it's a, a, good, a good thing to, to kind of uh, push on uh, with the customer. Um, yeah, and uh, can you explain the lab technician's credentials? So that's, again, so you don't need to worry about lab technician credentials. That's only if you are based in New Jersey that you then need to call a local lab and say, hey, could you please come test my water? You cannot, you cannot do that um, in the state of New Jersey. Um, we don't really know, we don't specialize in the, in the technician. You, can, you could get a credential if you want to, um, but you would have to, I believe you would have to work directly for the lab that you are collecting the sample for. And as a home inspector, as a member of Internet, we have a free online course uh, called uh, Water Quality Inspections. So you can take the free online course and, and learn a ton about water quality, wells, cisterns, um, VOCs, and things like that. So uh, that's a free online course through Internet. Yeah, and Internet has a lot of really great resources. And we've, we've been really appreciative of our partnership with, with you guys. So thanks for that, Ben. You got it. Um, hey, let's at Oh, I think sorry. we this up. Uh, Johnny's having problems with his microphone and, and camera anyways. Um, but just one more time, can you, if we have questions for you, um, where do we go? How do we do it? Do we chat it or do you have a direct contact us page or where? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So again, uh, the best way to, to, to get in touch and, and, and start chatting with us is to go to mytap.us backslash pro, make an account. Uh, and then you will have access to this little button down here on which you can ask us live questions. We are here, I believe, from uh, 8 a.m. Eastern time to, I want to say, 6 p.m. Pacific time, so 9 p.m. Eastern time. We're, we're here all day. Um, Excellent. We, you know, our, our people are waking up at 5 in the morning <laughs> to, to answer your questions. So, uh, you know, use this resource. I think that's, that's what we're, we're here for. Thank you. Well, uh, fellas, Johnny, Dan, Simple Lab, thank you so much. Thanks for recognizing Internachi members and giving us a little discount too. I really like the report and uh, I did water quality simply. I wish I had your company working with me back when, but uh, um, for sure, I, I recommend Simple Lab for, for everybody. Just take a look and I uh, appreciate the discount. Fellas, thank I, you, Ben. Yeah, thanks for your time. And thank thanks so everyone much. for listening as well. And if you have any other questions, uh, just sign up and, and send us a direct message and we'll be here answering your questions. <laughs> That's great. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone, Stay for your time. Stay safe and healthy, everybody. Bye. Bye, fellas. Thank you. Bye-bye.